you know, the next day you go to the MRI and you start thinking, well, it could be maybe worse. Like it doesn't feel better today. And then, you know, you get the news after the fact, um, the next day where, you know, you get the news of torn ACL and, and then you, you sit with all the emotions that that comes with. Just a tough situation and, and sadness really that, you know, your season is, is, is now over. Um, and you're looking at 10, 11 months, 12 months, whatever, whatever, you know, those early day predictions are for when you'll return. And that feels like forever. Um, so yeah, it's it's honestly it just sucks in the moment. You're you're thinking about you know how you won't be able to play, how we won't be able to step on a field for, for the next ten months or something like that, and and it really starts to sit in. And, you know, I think I think I sat with it for you know a few days, two three days, and then you know as you start to feel better, oh it's okay, you know whatever, and then you know I think for me really the tough part is, you know when you go into surgery because because at the end of the day you know when you tear your ACL and and for me. Um, you know, four, five, six days after, um, I'm walking around and I don't have a brace on or anything like that, and I'm able to to move. I was thankful for my for my parents, uh, my parents and my sister. They they came up and helped me through the surgery because I needed I needed someone there, you know, 24/7 for me. Um, so I'm really thankful for them. Um, but yeah, right. I mean, the next day is you're in with PT, um, and you know, I had a guy up at the at the you know Patriot place at Brigham uh, Women's Health, uh, Marty that really helped me um, a lot through that first three, four weeks. And it was it was basically rehab uh, every day for, for an hour, hour 15. And he was just, you know, getting me the flexion and whatnot. And then it's a lot of game readying, icing, and, and a lot of Netflix, honestly. Um, just trying to relax as much as possible, keep your leg elevated. Um, and, and yeah, honestly, I was, I was probably moving and walking at um, 10 days, 14 days or something like that but with a brace for, you know, six weeks. So that was really, really the tough part about getting around, not being able to drive, stuff like that, where you really feel incapable of doing anything. But I'm thankful for, you know, everybody in our treatment staff, um, you know, our performance staff, stuff like that, that, um, you know, I think they they did a great job of, of leading me and guiding me through that process. Um, but it, again, you have to do it on your own. So, you know, nobody else can do it but but you. And I think that process was, was good for me to learn. Um, you know, what it takes to, to get back to this level. Um, and thankfully I didn't, didn't have one of these injuries um, in my life before. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it was a process for sure. And, and, you know, taking that time to understand, yeah, it's gonna be a long one, but um, you know, every step of the way you feel better and better. And, and it's, you know, you come out on the other side even, even stronger. I spent a lot of preseason just in the weight room um, with me and Matt Kirkpatrick and we were just working. Um, and getting stronger and stronger, and I could I could feel myself, you know, really really getting stronger. Um, and you know, weights were going up every every week. And then finally, at the end of it, you know, there was there was some jogging and some striding out and stuff like that, you know, inside. But then finally, at the end, it was like, okay, put your cleats on, let's go out and let's get some stride outs. And you know, that's where it started. And and it was as simple as that. But that was uh, a good a good measuring point for me and a good you know leap that okay, I'm I'm able to do this and. I came out of preseason, you know, stronger. Really, for me, it was just like, get me on the field, let me put my cleats on, let me run. And as soon as I was able to, to get that process of, of running and, and feeling comfortable running and not, you know, favoring it or anything like that, then I felt strong, then I was able to, to progress and build on that. And that really, you know, accelerated everything. And then, you know, slowly start working with the ball and then you start working with, um, you know, longer passes and stuff like that. And now we're cutting and, and every step of the way, um, you know, you, you feel a little more comfortable with yourself, with your body, with, with everything going on, and mentally you feel a little more comfortable as well. The stepping into practice for the first time is, is great. Honestly, you're, you're just looking forward to that moment. Um, and you, you do so much work off the field, on the sideline, um, with other trainers and whatnot, and, and all you want to do is, okay, let me be in practice. Let me be in a possession drill. Let me be in a scrimmage. Like, that's all you want to do. Um, let me be in a small-sided game, you know, my favorite thing to do. Uh, and so when that happened, when I was able to, to step in and really, you know, okay, now I can play, oh, it was joy. And he's going to be replaced, and this is an emotional return. Brandon By coming on for the first time since tearing his ACL last August. And he's got to help this New England side try to see this thing out. Um, I mean, the emotions are just, are just wow, you know, it, it's it's been a process, it's been a long one, but... You know, and I think I, I reflected on that a good amount before the game even started. Um, and I think that was important to, 
to have that reflection time and then able to step into the game and, and you know be an important piece in, in, in seeing out a game and winning that game. Um, and then after the fact too, I think after the final whistle, okay, you know, you're on the field, you know, everybody's high-fiving and, and excited that, you know, we saw out the game and we, we won the game and in a hostile environment. I think then, you know, it clicks as well as like, okay, guys are saying welcome back and, and you know, and able to, to really bring that in and, and enjoy that. You know, you just realize that you, you can't take it for granted. You know, it's, you know, it's been, it's been a, you know, six, seven years where I, I didn't have an, like a major injury like this and, and, you know, playing, you know, basically week in, week out. Um, and, and, you know, some of those random games you, you, you do, you, even though you try not to, and, and it's, it's impossible not to, uh, to take one of those for granted or, ah, it's just, you know, another Wednesday or, uh, you know, I like got just another game. Um, and so when you really step away and you, and you look at that and then you're up in the suite watching every, every game on a, on a random Wednesday, then you're like, shoot, man, I wish I was out there. I wish I was, I wish I was lacing it up with the boys and, and able to, to go compete. So, and I think that's what we, we chatted about with the, um, with the, with the, sorry, with the training staff as well. Um, the fact that, you know, Hey, it's going to be, it's going to be midsummer before you get back. Um, but there's going to be a lot of season left and there's going to be, you know, important games left and, and, you know, you're going to be healthy for, for those, for that period of time, um, for that, for that remainder of the season. So I always had that in my mind of, okay, Hey, how can I get sharper just today in order to, to be, to be ready when, when my name is called, um, me going down the stretch of the season. So yeah, really excited, really, um, really blessed to be, to be healthy, ready to go. And, and hopefully we can uh, continue to push on and, and, and win more games.